Hello, this is Greg the Rural Economist, and welcome to a Seed for Thought number seven. Today, we're going to be talking about the Doom Daily News. Everybody knows at least one person, and a lot of times a bunch of people, that almost seem like they're a happiness vampire or a black hole. They suck all the joy and happiness out of your life when you're in their presence. They never have any good news, ever have any good news. I've got a couple of people like that in my life, and whenever I have to be around them, it just, I can feel my stress level going up just because of them being the way that they are. And I believe that there are actually people out there that the only time that they're happy is when they're miserable. If you can avoid those people completely, do it. There's a difference between being an optimist, a realist, and a pessimist. You know, people who claim to be realists, they're still slanted one way or the other. But there are some honest-to-God people out there who are just pessimists. They focus on negativity all the flipping time. They're not happy unless they're miserable. And, and what's bad is they're in every niche of life there's a whole bunch of them in the in the prepper community that they're not happy unless the world is going to end tomorrow now not all of them are that way but there's homesteaders that are that way oh it's just it's just not gonna work it's not gonna work there are preachers that are what that way there are oh god it's the newspaper news people that are that way you've got to decide the kind of outside influence that you want involved now everything that i do everything that i do i try to be a realist but i'm actually an optimist i'm always trying if, if something messes up well i learned not to do that again let's find something else and that's really the way you got to be because if you allow yourself to wallow in failures or in bad news or in the negativity of the day, really all you're doing is increasing your own blood pressure. Surround yourself with positive, energetic people and you will become positive and energetic. I'm not saying that, you know, like some of the preachers out there today, the name it and claim it crew or whatever. I believe that if you believe that you can do something, you can do it. I believe that if you think that you're going to accomplish something, you can. Henry Ford was quoted as saying, it doesn't matter whether you believe you can do something or where you, whether you believe you can't. You're right. It's a pretty big deal. I hope you enjoyed it. This one's probably a short one. I can't tell right now. But this is Greg, the Rural Economist, and this has been a seed for thought. Step by step, we're bringing Rural back. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon. Bye.